that was right. the problem. We'd done the work. The hard work was done. It was there, yeah. ready, and then it had to be shown, and then obviously just progresses from there. So when we came home in December 1970, yes. it was all fresh and new, and of course it gathered momentum year by year by year. Yeah. So after the fifth year, it was huge, it was massive, yeah. and we weren't a part of that. No, so we shame. felt that you know we've got this ability. We could all sing, and we could actually sing live. You know, when, the time that we did spend together in the house that wasn't, you know, we were actually rehearsing yeah. so that we could sing these songs on the albums and so on. And we felt that that is something that really should have been exploited. We, we, we I, th felt I think there was a, a an opportunity the lost there, to be honest. Big opportunity. And it was a way yeah. of meeting the fans. The fans could see us. We could see the fans. And it was just... But over a period of time, like everything, if you don't keep something going, it drifts, drifts off. I think this show will go on forever. I think it's a, a, a production that is timeless. There's nothing in it you can date. No. It's just... No. Okay, the, the, the television techniques, the sound techniques and everything, things have moved on. Technology has moved on now. But it's not... I mean, the, uh, apart from that, the, the storyline, the, the whole production is timeless. You can probably still sit children youngsters in front of this series in 20, t 20 years time 30 years time and they'll still go it's fantasy land it's fantasy land my daughter used to watch it um uh, didn't you yeah there you go um you can just put it on and i think the the fans at that time are fr I, they're they're our friends now i call them our fans but they've been loyal to us all this time and now they let their children watch it and their children uh, uh, enamored by it. I think it's it's a timeless a timeless piece, and I think the music, the the, the storylines, yes, it's very simple, um, but it's timeless, and that's I, the magic of it. I think since the Bugaloos were made and released, there's been three generations, and that will not cease. God, are we that old? Well, you, there was an adult audience and their <laughs> children and their children's yes. children. So it's three generations yes. in the thirty it, it, years it's been up and running. Yeah. And it will just go on and on. There's nothing in there you can actually date. It's just it's just good, clean, honest fun. And it's children enjoying themselves, or kids enjoying themselves. And it, there's all the puppetry, the magic of the puppetry. I mean, it was second to none, yes. wasn't it? It was so professional. I have to say, it was, everything was done so professional. It was, it was, I think Tony Sharney did a really good job in direction. You could see that he had the expertise in that. But mm. it will go on and on. And it will, I, I sincerely think that the Bugaloos will still be going another 30 years' time. I think it was probably one of the best times in my life, and it's something oh, yes. I'll always remember. Yes. And I think it'll always be a place in my heart for, for the us. Bugaloos, and of course the Bugaloos fans. Yeah, no, very, very special, magic, a magic moment in our lives, and and that moment I think will will go on for a long time yet.